the box elder bug or maple bug or red bug, there's a lot of different co common names. It is native to North America, typically black with some red lining on their wings. Where they become a problem is they aggregate. They get together in fall and then you'll see them again sort of getting together in the spring. They can be sunning themselves on fence posts, on your deck and the side of your house. They're called a box elder bug because they feed on box elder trees or we call them Manitoba maples. It's really not doing harm to our landscapes. It's not doing harm to the street trees and whatnot. If they're feeding on a few seeds, that's okay. Where they are a problem is when come fall time, they want to find some place where it's warm. Before humans were building urban landscapes or whatever, uh, they would have found, you know, under rocks and, uh, you know, under downed woody material and a lot more organic matter would have been on the ground. And what do we do? We rake up all the leaves and we, you know, clean up all our landscapes. We have all these hardscapes. So they have no recourse but to come into our homes. They don't feed on humans. They won't feed on your pets. They do not damage the structure of the residents, so they're not like termites or something like that. You can remove them by sweeping them up with a broom into a bucket or whatever. You can vacuum them up and then deposit them outside. I would recommend that you don't just dump them out uh, because they just come crawling right back in. It would take, I think, an unsafe amount of product in your home to, to try and manage them with a pesticide. But if you do have box elders or ash or maples, then it's sort of a fact of life that you're likely going to have box elder bugs in your yard.